Hi guys, Charlotte here from Damson and this week we are going to be talking about Google Sites. Google Sites is having a total overhaul, Classic Sites is soon to be gone and if you want to know more and how this might affect you and your company, please stay tuned. So what are we going to be covering in this video? Well, we're going to be talking about dates to note, um, when Classic Sites is going to turn into new sites. We are going to be talking about Classic Sites migration details, recommended migration settings, new sites info, what's different in new sites, both for admins and end users. So let's jump in. Dates to note. Starting May 15th, 2021, so that date has already passed users will no longer be able to create new sites in classic sites. That means you can no longer currently create a classic site. We recommend you turn off site creation in classic sites before then. So if you haven't already done that, please do. Starting the 1st of December, 2021 this year, editing of any remaining classic sites will also be disabled. And in January, 2022, when users try to visit a classic site, they will no longer see the website content. Any remaining classic sites will either be automatically downloaded as an archive and saved to the website owner's Google Drive or replaced with a draft in the new Google Sites for site owners to review and then publish. So if you want to migrate your classic sites to new sites, here's some information for you. Administrators and site owners can convert classic sites to new sites export classic sites using takeout and delete classic sites until January 2022, by which time it will be too late. Um, and just a side note on that, the latest version of each remaining classic site will automatically be converted into a new site, even if you previously converted your classic site already. So what's new in Google Sites? I'm just gonna give you a quick overview because there are a couple of key differences between the sort of structure of the new sites and classic sites. The first being that new sites will be stored within your Google Drive. This has a couple of interesting repercussions, most notably that you will no longer be able to control granular page permissions within your Google site if you had before. They will be controlled with the same permissions as the Google Drive folder that you are storing that site in. If you previously had several page levels of permission, then you're gonna need actually several different Google sites in order to achieve the same effect. These will all have to be linked together in a similar structure as you had before in order to get the same feeling, but it will be very similar to what you had before once you do this. I know it sounds scary, but it will be fine. It's just that several different sites need to be created in this instance. So what's new for admins? There are three things that you didn't have before for admins in the new Google Sites. Firstly, because the site is held in Drive, um, you might be worried that it might count towards your storage space, but it does not. The site will be stored within Drive, but it will not count towards your storage space. Your Drive API will allow you to access sites programmatically. You can create sites and perform file level actions such as managing permissions and copying existing sites. You also now have Vault, so you can retain, hold, search, and export your data for your organization's retention and e-discovery needs. What's new for end users? Well, there are many new features for end users on this to make it more fun to use. So first off, we have usability. Create and manage your site on a simple and intuitive interface. So it's just gonna be a lot easier to use and um, just, it's gonna look better for you. Draft and publish. You can view draft and publish versions of your site, which leads into the next point, which is that you can review changes. You can now preview your edits before you publish them. You can now use modern site tiles, such as image carousels, placeholders, buttons, collapsible text, and so much more. You can add a cloud cloud search box to your site. You can even add a site info icon and add a contact owner form and view the last updated date of a site. It's also now mobile friendly, so you can adjust your site to the best layout for a computer, phone or tablet, which is great. Also to note, you can have a custom web address. You can set up your site to appear at a web address you already own. 
Also, it's much more secure on the new sites than classic sites, and you will always have HTTPS instead of HTTP. The only downfall that I can really see here, and I'm not even sure that it's that much of a downfall to be honest, is that on classic sites, you were able to add unlimited sub pages to an individual page, and now you can only add five. So on the new sites, you can only add five sub pages to any particular page. And there is actually also an additional number of features in development right now, such as Sites API, which will allow you to your, which will allow your apps to modify content within your Google site. You've got Editor Commons, which will allow you to co uh, collaborate with other editors on a draft site. You've got Google Domains, use one-click integration to map a web address to your Google Manage Domain, and Custom Design change colors, fonts, and other visual elements to better reflect your brand, which is super exciting. And that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was insightful. This is a really, really important feature uh, update because if you do have a classic site and I know many, many companies do and they either operate their intranet off it or they operate their actual website on it. This is something that is very important for you. You need to address this. You either need to get on building a new site or you need to try and migrate it and get everything over there as fast as possible. Also, if you don't know about Google Sites, Google Sites is a free website creation tool. It's brilliant, it's easy to use, and you should really, really try it out because I think you'll think it's fantastic. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, also, please follow us on social media. We are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And yeah, if you have any recommendations of any more videos you'd like to see, please do not hesitate to leave it in the comments. We make these videos for you. We want to help you. So please help us out by telling us what you'd like to see. And we will see you next week. <laughs>